everybody doing? Today I'm going to be talking about the Dunlop Black Nylon 1mm pick. Now this video was requested and I know that this is a very popular pick, but I'm going to have to just say that this is not one of my favorite picks. So I have experience using this pick because a few years ago I tried it out pretty thoroughly because a friend of mine recommended it. And it was basically just a very average one millimeter thick, which is pretty average thickness, guitar pick. And at the time, I didn't really like it and I moved on to the thinner Tortex picks, which had the same amount of flex, but it was a better feel in my opinion. And generally, I'm a pretty big fan of Dunlop products and all their picks, but this pick in particular seems very average to me. It's a standard shape, standard size pick, so that'll be familiar to a lot of people. Now it's a pretty slippery material if your hand gets sweaty, but what's nice is they have a raised grip that's built into it, so that's a good thing. One thing which I don't like about it, which some people might like about it, is the fact that the material has a ton of give. So this being a one millimeter pick, it doesn't take much effort to flex it. And because it flexes so much, it feels thinner than it actually is. The edge of this pick is very sharp, which makes it feel a little bit unrefined. I mean, I know a lot of picks are just mass produced, but there's something a little bit... I don't know. So there's something about it that I don't really like. I know it's mass produced, but Dunlop has a lot better feeling picks that they make. Now, as far as the tone goes, I found that to my ear, there's a slightly kind of a sweet pluck that this pick has over the string, which I can understand why that would appeal to a lot of people. But it's a pretty quick pluck and release, and the way that it bends, it kind of just snaps back, and it really doesn't give you much in the way of power as far as strumming. It's not really my style, but I think this pick would probably be good for playing a lot of classic rock, even some metal stuff, all the way up through like twangier sounding stuff, just because of the way that it snaps and releases. Also on the subject of tone, I found that with this pick, it doesn't really have much of a distinct sound when it's interacting with the string. Like when a pick first attacks the string, and you can get an idea of the tone of it, you can kind of hear the density of the material will play a factor in that, and with this it's just over the string and gone, and you don't really get to experience much of what the tone of the material would sound like. So like I said, I found it to be just a very, very average pick in a lot of areas. That's just my own personal experience. It's not to say that to somebody else it might be the perfect pick, because for a lot of people it is. It's just, and especially out of a lot of other Dunlop products, not my favorite. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it, give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more guitar-related YouTube content. Thank you.